So this used to be called America Baptist Church. Where my parents went when they were married and lived here. And my dad was baptized here. And they have a picture of me as a baby holding me here. Mom and dad lived a short walk to their church into this apartment building over here. So when you were getting your master's degree, you guys lived here? We, our room was around the corner. So somewhere over here is where I was living when I was first born. Your second year in Ellensburg, you were living in these Robinson apartments. With one lady named Jill Williams. And you were dating dad at the time? met at a different location at the snowshoe camp, but then I ran into him again here in Ellensburg and we began dating him. All near this church, Dad first kissed Mom outside the sidewalk of the Robin's apartment. The castle of Ellensburg. <laughs> Dad lived the Bardo Hall. That's why it was familiar. I think it was just a the The old that my aunt, great aunt Pearl attended is the highest dome. That's the oldest. That's the oldest building? Yeah, 1800s, early 1900s. So, great aunt Pearl went here. She was born in Finland, right? I, uh, you know, that's a good question. Or at least had Finnish parents. Here is the fairgrounds. I the dome is the science building with an observatory for stars. The Nicholson Pavilion is the gym. And I lived out there. You gotta get it tight, bud. I am doing it. Sagebrush. Yep, smells good. Woo. This is Student Village where I used to live. That's a cute puppy. Do you like living here? Yeah. Yeah, the round oak table is now in Rex's foyer, but yes, I think we lived on the third floor. Yeah, because I could see the marching band practice oh. from my back window. And uh, I did my laundry here. I did one load at a time because I, I didn't have experience using a laundromat and that you could like, do several loads at the same time. <laughs> so I set a timer and then come back down and change my next load. <laughs> That's why we go to college. Um, one of these apartments caught on fire and I remember someone running up into his apartment and getting his big stand-up base and running down the stairs with it. These things are so dry. I was always scared. Yeah, I lived here with Iruru and she cooked really good curry. I had friends over a lot. Alyssa, Bible study friends, Paul and Adam. Mom, you said you came here to study too? I did. This is the library. I spent many hours here. I'd always go up to my favorite floor, which was the one with the blue rug. It was the children's book section. <laughs> This is where Paul and I did a dancing flip off the table. We were so bad. Yeah, this is where I studied a lot. I had awesome kids books. Great like this. I know. Well, I studied here for hours. <laughs> There's a view. Hey, we found it. Hold your master work, Dad. <laughs> yes, so many hours of study for that, right? A lot of inking and the parts. Of writing all the different... Yeah. Here's my note. Dear Dad, how could anyone have known that 22 years after you finished this thesis project, your baby daughter, now grown, would come to Central Washington University and find your work still sitting on the library shelf. 
I'm proud of all the hard work you did and still do today. Thank you for instilling a love for music in my life. Thank you for cheering me on through school and most of all for loving me no matter what. Love always and forever, your daughter, Jenna. November 1st, 2001. So I had to finagle with the rhythm sometimes. Wow, I don't even know what that is. We're six, six eight. eight meter, feeling three beats mm -hmm. against two. Ba, 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 dia, 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 ba, 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 dia, 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 dia. Because here the piano, and then I had to break it up with all the instruments. Hey, is that your handwriting? I recognize it. I remember playing Eye of the Tiger in that handwriting. <laughs> yeah, it gets real messy here. Oh yeah, look at that. That's beautiful, Dad. Oh my gosh. Got all those sharps. Danza Argentinas. The dance of Argentina. Yeah. 1980. I was born in the middle of this project. Well, we spotted Uncle Terry's thesis as well. So we gotta get them both together. And you and all your brothers play clarinet except for Alan. Coronet. Yeah. Dad had to learn all the different instruments here. Yeah, was a start. Your parents were not musicians, but you got into guitar because... My grandmother gave us lessons. Yeah, Terry took lessons, I took lessons. And then Danny chose ski lessons. Those were the two choices. Okay. So 1978, 79 was the year that streaking was popular. <laughs> streaking. Streaking at her legs. They just dropped all their clothes off and took a <laughs> and just caused a Why? scene just to get attention. But the funny thing was there was a guy <gasps> that was in a wheelchair and he did it also. But he, he was a little drunk so he drove his electric wheelchair and it bumped up. It spilled out of him and broke his arm. <laughs> Oh, he yeah. broke his leg, not his arm. Yeah, it was kind of funny. He's in an electric wheelchair, buzzing around, and, and then he's got this cast on his leg. Man. How did he do that? <laughs> and he was streaking. What? <laughs> Iconic location. Students work, you know, the pottery, but then there's a table against the wall. Oh yeah. And uh -huh. anything that went kaplooey on their pottery wheel, they just took the whole mass and heaved it across the room, <laughs> against the wall, onto see, the table. See, they reconditioned it with a little more water and we used it. <laughs> I want to see that table. Sitting out in the river, and I, I caught a clam in the Yakima River. I go, how's 